everyone, we're going to find the equation of the tangent line to the graph at 0 comma 0 with y equals ln of x. So first, let's find the derivative uh, to find the slope. So if we do that, we do y prime equals, we're going to use the quotient rule. So you take uh, your derivative of the numerator, ln of x is just going to be 1 divided by x, times your denominator, minus your numerator, times the derivative of the denominator, which is just 1, all divided by your denominator squared. So y prime is going to equal 1 minus ln of x divided by x squared. Now the problem is here we have this 0, 0, and uh, 0, comma 0, and it doesn't work in here. So we're going to use some substitution and let the slope of the tangent line uh, at x equals t. So what we're going to do is write this as y prime at x equals t, and that's going to equal 1 minus ln of t divided by t squared. Uh, doing that, we're going to, have to use some substitution, but at least we can find the equation of the tangent line. So now, the tangent line is going to be at t comma ln of t divided by t. So all I did is let x be t instead of 0, and this is your y. But I substituted in for um, t. Now let's write out that uh, given what we have. Uh, we're going to do y minus your y value, which is uh, ln of t divided by t equals your slope is given here and that's going to equal 1 minus ln of t divided by t squared and then we're going to have x minus your x value which is t. Looks a little confusing. Now the next part is just simplifying so let's do all this simplifying for this. So I'm going to distribute here just like you normally do and add this to both sides. And that's going to give you um, y equals 1 minus ln of t divided by t squared times x. So that's that part. Now the next part's going to be minus 1 minus ln of t divided by t squared times t plus and then we're going to add this to both sides, and that's going to be plus um, 1, where am I, uh, plus ln of t divided by t. All right, I think I got everything. So now that we have that, uh, let's simplify. This stays the same. All right, this part I'm going to, um, uh, let's first... Notice that t goes into t squared um, just t times. So that's just going to be uh, when you distribute um, this, or just let's go ahead and write this as minus 1 divided by t plus ln of t divided by t. I'm going to erase this real quick. So we had a t here, but now we just have t in the denominator. So basically I'm just um, separating this out. Then we have plus ln of t um, divided by uh, t um, right there. Um, this should have been a t. All right. Sorry about all that. Now, the only thing else we need to do is just add these two. So basically, our equation is going to be y equals uh, 1 minus ln of t divided by t squared x minus 1 divided by t plus, I'm going to rewrite this, 2ln of t divided by t, because we had two of these. <coughs> now we're going to go back to that equation, and I'm going to write it down again because you can't see it. So basically, uh, with t, uh, our equation is going to be y equals 1 minus ln of t divided by t squared times x minus 1 divided by t plus 2ln of t divided by t. All right, now let's go back to our 0, 0. Since 0, 0 lies on the graph, I'm going to substitute in 0 for x and y. 
So my y is zero. What happens is this goes away because that's this x is going to zero that out. So we end up having negative 1 divided by t plus 2 ln of t divided by t. Now let's go ahead and solve for t. So we have 1 divided by t equals 2 ln of t divided by t. You cross multiply, and this, I keep putting t, 2 for t. <laughs> cross multiply, you get 1 equals 2 ln of t or ln of t equals 1 half. Now let's write this in uh, exponential form. So this is just going to be e, t, solving for t, equals e to the power of 1 half. That is your t. Now, all we have to do is go back to our uh, number 1 equation given here. This is I'm calling this equation 1. And substitute back in our t. So everywhere there's a t, I'm going to put e to the power of 1 half. See if I can squeeze it in here. So this is going to be y equals 1 minus ln of e to the power of 1 half. e to the power of 1 half. Then we're going to have just e x. I'm going to go ahead and erase some of this. All right. You can always scroll back and get that. All right. Then we're going to have minus for this piece, 1 divided by e to the power of 1 half plus 2 ln of e to the power of 1 half divided by e to the power of 1 half. All right, let's see what we can do with this. Now, using your uh, power property for exponents, I can move this 1 half in front, and ln of e is 1. So basically, when I do that, I'm going to get y equals 1 minus 1 half divided by e. And then we still have this x here. And then for this piece, I'm just going to copy it down. Now I could do the same thing with this one. I'm going to move this 1 half in front. So 2 times 1 half is 1. And we still have e to the power of 1 half. All right. And um, what happens is these two go away. These are going to zero out. And now we have um, y equals um, 1 minus 1 half is 1 half divided by e to the power of x, which is the same as 1 divided by 2e times x. And that is your equation of the tangent line. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>